Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the Laplace transform of three elementary functions. So, let us look at the Laplace transform of Laplace transforms of e power a t comma sine of a t and cos of a t. So the first one is Laplace transform of e power a t, which is by definition equal to integral zero to infinity e power minus s t e power a t d t, and this is equal to integral zero to infinity e power minus of s minus a t d t, which is equal to e power minus of s minus a t over minus of s minus a and the limits are from 0 to infinity. So, for t equal to infinity this is clearly equal to 0 and for t equal to 0 this the numerator is again 1. So, it is equal to 0 minus 1 over minus of s minus a which is equal to 1 over s minus a. Note that this integration or this formula is only valid for s greater than a. Therefore, for s greater than a Laplace transform of e power a t is equal to 1 over s minus a and clearly for s less than a that is when s is less than a then the integration 0 to infinity e power minus s t into e power a t d t basically diverges. Now let us look at the second function that is Laplace transform of sin of a t and we know that sin of a t is equal to imaginary component of e power j a t. So, by using the Euler's formula we can know that we know that sin of a t is equal to imaginary component of the exponential the complex exponential e power j a t. We can find the Laplace transform of sin of a t as follows that is first we have to find the integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t e power j a t d t and by using this formula that is for s greater than a Laplace transform of the exponential e power a t is equal to 1 by s minus a. So, this is equal to 1 by s minus j a. Therefore, Laplace transform of sin of a t is equal to imaginary component of this result that is 1 by s minus j. Note that we applied the imaginary component to the Laplace transform. This is only valid since the Laplace transform is a linear transform. So, now the imaginary component of 1 by s minus j is clearly equal to imaginary component of s plus j over s square plus a square by simply multiplying with the conjugate of the denominator. Basically, by multiplying and dividing with the conjugate of the denominator, we get this function. Therefore, the Laplace transform of sine of a t is equal to imaginary component of this function, which is clearly equal to a over s square plus a square. Therefore, the Laplace transform of the sine function is equal to a by s square plus a square. Now let us look at the Laplace transform of Laplace transform of cosine of a t. It is L of Laplace transform of cos of a t. And cos of a t is equal to the real part of e power j a t. Therefore, Laplace transform of cos of a t is equal to real part of 1 by s minus j which is equal to real part of s plus j a over s square plus a square. Therefore, the Laplace transform of cos of a t is equal to s over s square plus a square because this is the real part of this function. Thus, we can use the Laplace transform of an exponential to derive the Laplace transforms of cos of a t and sin of a t that is trigonometric functions. Thanks for watching.